Fegana presence. Life cycle of flowering plants. Programmed by John Fergus Naditi. Crop plants are classified into annual, biennial, and perennial plants. What are annual crops? Annual crops are crops that complete their life cycle within one year or a season. What are biennial crops? Biennial crops are crops that complete their life cycle within two years, or two cropping seasons. What are perennial plants? Perennial plants are plants that take more than two years before producing fruits. Activity 1 Let pupils bring different types of crop products to school, to be classified into annual, biennial and perennial plants. This picture illustrates flowering plants. Maize Maize is a cereal plant which belongs to the grass family. It has narrow leaves and starch content of the grains are very high. Other types of cereals are sorghum, millet, rice etc. Maize can be ploughed into the soil, as green manure, eaten as food, prepared as a drink. The husk can also be used to prepare doormat etc. Cowpea forms dense cover on the surface of the soil. What are some of the benefits derived when cowpea plant is ploughed into the soil? Some of the benefits derived when cowpea plant is ploughed into the soil are 1. Fix nitrogen into the soil 2. Improved soil structure 3. It increases activities of soil microbes it can also be used as food source of protein. Which pests and diseases attack these crops? Pests of cowpea are Aphids, leaf-eating beetle, weevils, rats Diseases Root knot nematodes, anthraconose, bacterial blight Pests of maize. Army worm, leaf hopper. Maize diseases. Smut, rust. What are some of the cultural practices carried out in field crops such as maize, cowpea, etc.? Some of the cultural practices carried out in field crop, such as maize, cowpea, etc., are weeding, pest control disease control, manuring, watering, etc. Activity 2 Teacher discuss with pupils, some groups into which food crops can be classified on their uses. a. Cereal crops b. Legumes c. Root and tuber crops Cereal crops and their varieties List the type of cereals and their varieties below. Maize Laposta, Tamale Yellow, Abrotea, Lagos White Millet Yanza, and Mangarana Sogum Grass Sogum, Broom Con, Sweet and Grain Sogum Rice 
swamp rice, for example, China 4, Randin, Nichen, Indochin Blunk. The information below shows groups of crops, and their examples. Beverages Cocoa, coffee Drugs Garlic, ginger, cola Latex Para rubber Oil crops Coconut, shea butter, bene seed, sesame, oil palm Pasture and forage Guinea grass, centrosema etc. Spices Onion, shallot, ginger, pepper Fibers Canuff, sisal, jute, cotton Legumes Cowpea, ground nut, soya beans Root crops Cassava, cocoa Sweet potato, carrot, stem tuber crop, yam, Irish potato, potato. Pictorial view of crops, legumes. This is a pictorial view of soybeans plant. This is a pictorial view of groundnut plant. Root crops. This is a pictorial view of Irish potato plant and tuber. This is a pictorial view of yam plant and tuber. Root tuber crops. These pictures illustrate root tuber crops. Spices. These pictures illustrate spices and their plants. Beverages. These pictures illustrate beverages and their plants. Drugs Oil crops Pasture or forage plants. Fiber plants. Activity 3. Discuss with pupils the principles of crop production. Land selection, selection of varieties, methods of propagation. Factors to consider when selecting a site for a garden or farm. What factors need to be considered? when selecting a site for a garden or farm. Factors to consider when selecting a site for a garden or farm are 1. Nature of land or topography 2. Nearness of source of water 3. Market and transport facilities 4. Type of soil 5. Nearness of farm to owner. Propagation. What is propagation? Propagation is the multiplication of plants by its own species. What are the methods of propagation?
The methods of propagation are 1. Sexual, SID, propagation 2. Vegetative propagation 1. Some crops which are propagated by seed Some of the crops which are propagated by seed are Okro, pepper, tomato, lettuce, cabbage, onion French, beans, garden egg, coconut, oil palm, orange, cucumber, maize, rice, cowpea. Where can seeds be nursed? Seeds can be nursed on bed, in polythene bag, tray, pot, etc. Bot. Polythen bug. Bed. Tray. What are the merits of seed propagation? The merits of seed propagation are 1. Seeds are easy to handle. 2. New varieties are produced. 3. Little or no competition among offsprings. 4. Seeds often survive disasters such as fire and flood. What are disadvantages of seed propagation? The disadvantages of seed propagation are 1. Parent food supply to the young plant is limited. 2. It needs two individuals for pollination and fertilization to occur. 3. It is a slower means of reproduction. 4. Some seeds have long dormancy. Give some conditions necessary for germination of seed. Air, oxygen. Suitable temperature. Water. Viability of the seed. What is seed dormancy? Seed dormancy is a situation where viable seeds do not germinate even though all the conditions necessary for germinations are provided. Why do seeds experience dormancy? Hard seed coat Immature embryo Chemical inhibition Give some reasons why seeds are nursed. The reasons why seeds are nursed are to reduce pest infestation, easy maintenance of seedlings. It brings about uniformity of growth. It gives seedlings good start. It hardens the seedlings before they are transferred to the field. What is pricking out? Pricking out is the act of transferring seedling from a seed bird or seed box in a larger box or bird with the aim of spacing them out. Usually very weak or overcrowded seedlings are transferred. Why are crop plants pricked out? Reasons why crop plants are pricked out are 1. It allows free movement of air, farmer, etc. 2. To avoid competition for nutrients, space, water, sunlight, soil, air, etc. 3. To avoid diseases such as damping off, stunted growth of crops, and deterioration of plants.
What are some characteristics of a good quality seed? Good seed must be free of all seeds, of other varieties that is, must be true to type. Good seed must be free from insect eggs, and diseases. Good seed should be able to germinate rapidly. Good seed should be free from chaff, stones, or other forms of foreign matter. Vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is the use of any part of the plant apart from the seed to multiply the plant. The information below shows crops and their propagating parts that are used for propagation. Corn, cocoa yam, plantain, taro, and banana. Rhizome, ginger, canna lily, sugarcane. Bulb, onion, charlotte, garlic. Sucker, pineapple, plantain, banana. Cutting, cassava, sweet potato. Runner or vines, sweet potato, dub grass. Stem tubers, yam, Irish potato. Crowns, pineapple. What are the differences between root tubers and stem tubers? 1. Adventitious roots do not give rise to new plants in root tubers, but adventitious roots grow at the base and give rise to new plants in stem tubers. 2. In root tubers, there is no scale leaves and buds, but stem tubers have scale leaves and buds. This picture illustrates root tuber. This picture illustrates stem tuber, yam. Differences between onion and ginger. What are the differences between onion and ginger? 1. Onions have short stem, but ginger has elongated stem. 2. Onion leaves are swollen, but ginger leaves are very flat or thin. 3. Onion scale leaves are reddish or whitish. Artificial vegetative propagation. What is artificial vegetative propagation? Artificial vegetative propagation is the scientific methods or means used to multiply the plants. What are the artificial vegetative propagation methods? Stern cutting. Leaf cutting. Root cutting. Layering or mucutting. Grafting, budding, activity four. Carry out artificial methods of propagating the following crops: A. Orange. B. Coffee. C. Cassava. D. Yam. Etc. This picture illustrates orange, coffee, yam and cassava plants. This picture illustrates budding method.
This picture illustrates layering method. This picture illustrates grafting method. Note, citrus, orange, etc. are propagated by grafting. Cassava is propagated by stern cutting. Merits and demerits of artificial vegetative propagation.